Good day. My name is Avinash Maharaj. The title of my micro talk is Modeling and High Pressure Simulation of Helium Plasma Discharges. I will begin by, by discussing the motivation and methodology of the research. Fresh water supply is a global challenge and it is estimated that approximately 4 billion people experience a water shortage once a year. Increasing amounts of pollution have made the removal of hazardous organic pollutants in water a critical topic in environmental research. Plasma contains chemically active species and charged particles which can be used in, in a reactor to treat wastewater. An understanding of the physical phenomena describing the plasma dynamics is vital to optimizing the design of reactors. The aim of this research is to use star CCM plus to create a CFD model to better understand the stability and discharge dynamics across the pressure range of 0.1 to 8 MPa. The CHP re CHPC resources were used for the following activities to study the discharge when the pressure is varied and the electric current is fixed and to investigate the discharge at atmospheric pressure. This image shows the generated volume mesh. The mesh was refi refined in the interelectrode gap because this is the physical space where the plasma arc is initially ignited, which shall result in high spatial gradients. The volume mesh was generated using polyhedral cells with prism layers generated next to wall surfaces and boundary conditions. The mesh contained more than 1.7 million cells. A parametric study was performed to determine the effect of pressure. The pressure was varied between 2 and 8 MPa, and the electric current was fixed at 0.35 amps. Figure 1 shows that the measuring probe location was situated in the x-axis direction at the center of the interelectrode gap and extended from one wall of the reactor to the other. The temperature plot in figure 2 shows that for all pressure conditions, a high temperature in the discharge region is observed, as opposed to a lower temperature at the wall of the reactor. This variation in temperature results in high density gradients as seen in figure 3. This density variation is much larger at 8 MPa when compared to 2 MPa. This density gradient combined with the gravitational forces in the reactor, becomes the driving force of the natural convection effect in the reactor at higher pressure. The increased natural convection effect at higher pressure can be viewed in the velocity magnitude variation in figure 4. A larger velocity magnitude variation is observed at higher pressure. The reactor was then investigated at fixed conditions, i.e. atmospheric pressure and fixed electric current. Figure 5 shows that the density variation in the reactor, the variation between maximum and minimum values is not as large as that observed for higher pressures. This observation indicates that the natural convection effect will not be as dominant as is the case for higher pressures. This was confirmed by the velocity magnitude plot in figure 6 that shows a symmetric shape about the 0, .0, 0 millimeter, millimeter point, which is expected from a low current arc type discharge. This slide discusses the velocity magnitude. The natural convection effect at higher pressure causes the gas to move towards the top of the reactor. The natural convection effect is reduced at atmospheric pressure and recirculation zones form alongside the reactor. High performance computing made it possible to investigate the problem within a realistic time frame. CFD results provide useful trends that can be used to influence the design of a reactor. The results from this research have been published in the Frontiers in Physics journal. Thank you for your attention.